Did you know that Australia's deadliest animal isn't venomous? It doesn't have sharp fangs. It doesn't have deadly claws. And believe it or not, it's not even native to the country. While you're sitting there thinking about snakes, giant spiders, or saltwater crocodiles, the truth is so shocking that it will completely change the way you see this continent. Official data from the Australian government revealed something nobody expected. And the scariest part? This animal is everywhere. Not just in Australia, but probably near you right now. Stick around until the end, because I'm going to reveal not only what this animal is, but also why our minds deceive us so much when it comes to real danger. Australia has an international reputation when it comes to deadly wildlife. And look, that reputation isn't totally unfair. We're talking about a continent that's home to the Sydney funnel web spider, considered one of the most venomous spiders in the world. There's also the inland Taipan snake, whose venom is potent enough to kill 100 adult humans with a single bite. And it doesn't stop there. Australia has the saltwater crocodile, the largest living reptile on the planet, which can reach 23 feet in length and weigh over 2,200 pounds. There's the blue-ringed octopus, so small it fits in the palm of your hand, but with enough venom to paralyze and kill an adult in a matter of minutes. There are deadly jellyfish, like the box jellyfish, whose sting can cause cardiac arrest in less than three minutes. These are horror stories that circulate around the entire world. Movies, documentaries, series, they all reinforce this image of Australia as a land where absolutely everything wants to kill you. And when you think about traveling there, it's inevitable these images come to mind. But here's the truth that nobody tells you. Between the years 2000 and 2010, the National Coronial Information System of Australia, which is like an official database that records all investigated deaths in the country, documented 254 animal-related deaths. That's an average of 25 deaths per year over a period of one decade. And here's where it gets interesting. When researchers analyzed this data, they discovered something completely unexpected. You know how many people died from spider bites during this 10-year period? Zero. That's right, no deaths. Since the antivenom for the funnel web spider was developed in 1981, there hasn't been a single confirmed fatality caused by this spider. And snakes? Australia's famous deadly snakes? 14 deaths in 10 years. Saltwater crocodiles, those prehistoric monsters? 9 deaths. Sharks? 16 deaths. Yes, sharks killed more than crocodiles, but still, they didn't even come close to being the most dangerous animal. So if it's not spiders, not snakes, not crocodiles, and not sharks, what's killing more people in Australia? The answer will surprise you so much that you'll probably have to pause the video for a second when I reveal it. But before that, let me give you a few more clues. This animal is domestic. No, I'm not talking about pets, but about a domesticated animal that humans have lived alongside for thousands of years. It's an animal you've probably seen dozens, maybe hundreds of times in your life. Before I reveal what this animal is, subscribe to the channel. Seriously, click that subscribe button because I bring content like this that challenges what you think you know about the world. Turn on notifications too because you won't want to miss the next videos. That's right, horses. In 10 years, between 2000 and 2010, horses caused 77 deaths in Australia. That's more than snakes, crocodiles, spiders, and sharks combined. And when the data was updated for the period from 2001 to 2021, the numbers became even more impressive. 222 horse-related deaths, representing 31% of all animal-caused deaths in the country. You're probably thinking, what do you mean horses? They're docile animals, domesticated that we use for sports, leisure, and work. But that's exactly where the danger lies. Familiarity creates a false sense of security. 
An adult horse weighs on average between 880 and 1320 pounds. When you fall off an animal that size, especially at high speed, the consequences can be devastating. Head trauma, spinal fractures, internal injuries. And unlike a snake or spider where you can be careful, wear boots, watch where you step with horses, contact is direct, frequent, and often inevitable if you work in or practice equestrian sports. But the story doesn't stop with horses. Second place in the ranking will also surprise you. Cattle. Cows and bulls caused 92 deaths over the 21-year period. Half of these deaths were from traffic accidents. You hit a cow on the road, and the other half from crushing or goring. Imagine a 1,760-pound bull deciding you're in its way. In third place, dogs, 82 deaths, most from attacks, and the saddest fact is that many of these victims were children under four years old or elderly people. Domestic animals that live inside our homes killed more than any Australian reptile or arachnid. And here's the first native Australian animal to appear in the ranking, kangaroos. 53 deaths, all related to traffic accidents. You're driving on an Australian road at night, a kangaroo jumps in front of your car, and the result can be fatal. Then come bees with 45 deaths, all from anaphylactic reactions. Sharks with 39 deaths. And only then do snakes appear with 50 deaths and crocodiles with 25 deaths. Think about it. Horses alone killed almost nine times more people than crocodiles in 20 years. That's absolutely surreal. But why is our mind so wrong about this? Why are we so afraid of snakes and spiders? But don't think twice before getting on a horse. The answer lies in the psychology of risk perception. There's a concept called availability bias, which basically means that our mind judges the probability of something happening based on how easily we can recall examples of it. When was the last time you saw a headline saying, man dies after falling off horse? Probably never, or if you did, you didn't pay attention. But when a shark attacks someone, it becomes worldwide news. It stays in the news for weeks, becomes a documentary, becomes a movie. The same with crocodile attacks or venomous snakes. A study from 1978 asked people to estimate the probability of dying from certain causes. The researchers discovered that people overestimated dramatic risks that appeared frequently in the news and completely underestimated common and mundane risks. Our mind is terrible at calculating real danger. Dramatic, unusual, frightening events these stick in our memory. That's why you're afraid to swim in the ocean because of sharks, even though statistically you have a much greater chance of dying while driving to the beach. It's why you fear Australia for its spiders, but wouldn't think twice about going on a horseback trail ride if you had the opportunity. And there's another factor, exposure. How many people interact with horses regularly? Many. How many people encounter saltwater crocodiles in their daily lives? Almost none. The simple frequency of contact exponentially increases the chances of an accident. And this isn't exclusive to Australia. In the United States, similar studies show that wasps, hornets, and bees account for 31% of animal-related deaths. Large mammals, including horses and cattle, add up to 28.6%. Dogs appear with 26.2%. The pattern repeats. Domestic and domesticated animals with which we have frequent contact represent much more risk than wild predators and venomous creatures. And here's the big lesson from all of this. Real danger is rarely where you expect to find it. Australia isn't this deadly minefield they paint it to be. Yes, it has dangerous animals. Yes, you need to be careful. But the chances of you dying from a spider bite or being attacked by a crocodile are infinitely smaller than having an accident with a horse, being run over by a cow, or even getting a serious bite from a dog. Our mind deceives us. It makes us fear the exotic, the rare, the dramatic. Meanwhile, the real dangers are in the most common places, in the most ordinary situations, 
in the animals we see every day and don't think twice about. So the next time someone talks about Australia as this land where everything wants to kill you, you already know the truth. The biggest danger doesn't have fangs, doesn't have venom, isn't hiding waiting to attack you. It's right there, eating grass, being ridden by children in riding lessons, pulling carts. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share it with that person who's always saying they'd never visit Australia because of the animals. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go back to the beginning of the video and click that subscribe button now. And look, I've set aside a special video as a gift for you that will appear on the screen now. Trust me, you're going to want to watch this one. Thanks and see you in the next one.